Hello everyone, today I'm going to try drawing minions in different art styles. Not one, not two, but just a few. And this is just a short definition of an art style. A style in art refers to an artist's unique combination of techniques, processes, and decision. It develops and evolves over the lifetime of an artist. A distinct style can help with an artist's branding and recognition. Not too long ago, I have tried to extract the essence of expressionism from Vincent van Gogh's style and then to apply onto the characters that I've drawn. Are you able to recognize some of them? And here comes the number one style that I'm going to try on this. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup have dedicated their lives to fighting crime and the forces of evil! And here he goes, this is the Powerpuff Girl style. In order to boost up my confidence level, I've chosen something that is a very straightforward style that's using uh, markers to draw the outlines. I'm also using a fine liner to mark out the fine details. The different weightage of the lines are based on my observations from the characters. And I try to be as close as the original Powerpuff Girls. And since this is a very cartoony style, I will just remain as simple as it is and will not add any shadows. As for the background itself, I have decided to give something that is quite similar to Powerpuff Girls uh, cartoon uh, using a very retro style. And uh, I have decided to use um, this uh, sky blue and tailor blue. And this is the final result. And the next one is Tim Burton style. As a filmmaker, producer, and writer himself, his unique style has rocked the film industry. The characters that he produced are defined by the exaggerated features like baggy eyes, gangly limbs, and frizzy hair. And most of the time, he uses a lot of greyish color. For this minion, I had decided to give it a very washed out look. The yellow is a bit toned down, and the denim is like a faded jeans and not forgetting the dark rings around both eyes. Even though I can totally change the style of Minium to a grey colour, but for this, I still want Minium to be Minium himself. It is all about decision making, that whether you wanted to take away something from the original character or you wanted to add additional things onto it. There's no right or wrong, it's just a matter of choice. And this is the final result. What do you think? And the next one is quite an extreme style that I'm trying. <laughs> and now you'll know it is the Dragon Ball style. For this, I have done around like say 3 to 4 rounds of amendment before I came to this final composition. I have intentionally brought up the drawing just like the comic books. Sometimes you will see the character sudden zoom in to represent fast action in place. All these ideas that are put into paper are just trial and error. And I always have this mentality, if you never try, you never know. At this moment, I'm still trying to stretch my drawing. And since I'm doing this uh, Dragon Ball style, uh, I need to pay attention to some of the fine line details and not forgetting the most important part of colouring. Adding shadows, mid-tones and highlights will really tell a big difference in your drawing. Well, I think this is the best I can do and I'm trying to stay true to the minimums yellow and blue. This is the final result. The next one is a classic and unforgettable style. At first I was thinking of doing something fancy, like those princess styles. And there are so many choices out there and I don't want to make a difficult choice. And then one day, 
I was browsing through the internet and I came across the Mickey Mouse. And even Mickey Mouse has so many styles. And this gave me an idea of why not do it the Walt Disney way. And how he came up with the idea of drawing a mouse using just pencil and, and a paper and just a very raw sketch. I've not done sketching for quite a while and this can be a good exercise for me. And I like it. This is the final result and I hope that you like it. The upcoming characters that I'm going to draw is from the Skippity Toilet. This is a YouTube series that is uh, created by one of the creators on YouTube. It's a fictional series that involves a war between human-hated toilets and humanoid characters with hated electronic devices. I've seen some of the videos, they are quite violent, so I don't want to talk deeper into the story. Uh, I just want to focus on my drawing today. This is the humanized speaker man which I am extracting the style and to replace with Minium's head. By the way, this really reminds me of a Japanese food which is the tamago sushi. And I hope to give him a very cool look by applying some simple techniques on the highlighting. I give this a very simple background by putting a two little spotlight at the back to give me more depthness. And I really enjoy the whole process of drawing this. And this come to my very last drawing. And I've done a bit of research on their styles online. Five Nights at Freddy's is actually a video game and it was made into a horror suspense movie last year. I'm not a big fan of horror characters but because of the style is so distinctive with the characters having a boxy face and arms and legs and they have a, something like a puppet look face and a pair of dead fish eyes that stare right into your eyes. Nothing is completed without the dimly light shining onto the characters and this is what I call the package of styles. Quite unfortunately, I make a slight mistake onto the cheek area, the pinkish part, that it looks like it's biting an apple. So I missed the point. I will complete the rest of the drawing by using a towel like design background. I really hope you enjoy the full video of this uh, talking about the different styles of the drawings. See you next time.